Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into one of the most ambitious military aviation projects in India's history. The development of an Ultra Long Range Strike Aircraft, or ULRA. With a proposed range of 12,000 kilometers, this bomber could soon give India global strike capabilities previously held only by superpowers like the US, Russia, and China. A game changer in Indian defense, the ULRA is more than just a bomber. It's a strategic shift. India, long reliant on ballistic missiles and fighter bombers for regional deterrence, is now aiming for intercontinental reach. Sparked by the 2020 Galwan clashes and China's rapid military modernization, especially the upcoming H-20 stealth bomber, India has realized the urgent need for a sky-based nuclear second strike platform. This bomber, if operational by 2035, would ensure survivability and guaranteed retaliation, even if land-based missiles or naval assets are compromised. Design, Power and Performance The ULRA's blueprint borrows from two global legends, the Russian Tu-160 and the American B-21 Raider. It will feature swing-wing geometry for fuel-efficient long-range flight and high-speed target penetration. The bomber is designed for a 12,000 km range, outmatching even the B-21, allowing India to strike deep into any continent without aerial refueling. Stealth is critical. The design includes radar-absorbing materials, optimized airframe shaping, and an automated flight management system to survive high-threat airspace. For propulsion, two engines are under evaluation, a modified GE-414 core and Russia's powerful NK-32 afterburning turbofan, both capable of long endurance and high-thrust performance. Advanced Weapons Loadout At the heart of the ULRA's firepower is the upcoming BrahMos NG, a compact, supersonic cruise missile with a range of up to 450 kilometers. Up to four can be carried internally, minimizing radar signature. But that's just the beginning. The bomb bay is reportedly being designed to house Agni-1P short-range ballistic missiles, laser-guided bombs, and anti-radiation missiles, giving it versatile options for conventional or nuclear missions. This means the ULRA can strike air defense systems, enemy carriers, or command centers, all before the enemy even knows it's there. Domestic Development and Global Collaboration the project is being led by DRDO, HAL, and the Aircraft Development Agency, with development hubs along India's growing aerospace industrial corridor. Full-scale mock-ups and wind tunnel testing are already underway. India is also in talks with Russia and France for help with AESA radar modules, electronic warfare suites, and composite material fabrication. The goal, complete technological sovereignty by the time the first prototype flies, targeted between 2032 and 2035. Comparison with Global Bombers when complete, the ULRA will join an elite group that includes the US B-21 Raider, Russian Tu-160, and China's upcoming H-20. But India's design aims to be more versatile and farther reaching, with stealth, speed, range, and payload capacity that put it in a league of its own. Strategic Impact More than just a bomber. The ULRA offers four game-changing advantages. 1. Assured Second Strike Capability the bomber can be stationed deep inside India, but still strike targets across Asia, Europe, or the US. 2. Global Power Projection India will now be able to deter threats in the South China Sea, Pacific, and even the Atlantic. 3. Conventional Precision Strikes With BrahMos NG, India gains the ability to take out critical enemy targets without crossing into nuclear escalation. 4. Technological Spillover Advances in stealth, composites, and engines will benefit civilian aviation and future fighter drones. Challenges Ahead this is no easy feat. Engine technology is India's weakest link. Neither the GE-414 derivative nor NK-32 has been cleared yet for the desired performance levels. Then there's the cost. Two 160s cost over $250 million each. The B-21 is priced at $700 million plus. A fleet of 15 ULRA bombers could require a major portion of India's defense budget over the next decade. Moreover, India must develop new infrastructure, long runways, hardened hangars, training pipelines, and a doctrine for strategic bombing, something it has never implemented before. Despite these challenges, India's ULRA project signals a bold new chapter in national security strategy. No longer just defending its borders, India is preparing to shape global outcomes, anywhere on Earth. If all goes according to plan, by the mid-2030s, India will possess a full nuclear triad with land, sea, and airborne global reach. In that future, India's deterrent won't stop at its shores. It will begin wherever the ULRA can fly. Stay tuned for more defense updates and aerospace deep dives. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this.